think that I would like validation for my gender identity. Here are some pictures of me. My pronouns are it and they. It and they? You don't want to be seen as a human? My gender is none. I enjoy dressing in a more feminine, I guess, way. But I don't want to be associated with gender. Well, you clearly want to be associated with gender because you still look like a woman. You're still comfortable with having breasts. But no matter what, it's not up to you. You can't control what other people see you as. You can control and demand what people call you, but you can't change the way people think and view the world. I enjoy looking like a clown. I kind of view myself as a doll. I don't abide by gender. I'm built different. No. No, you're not built different. And it shouldn't be your goal. I don't think it should be your goal to distance yourself from reality as much as possible. To reject what and who you really are. Because at some point when you get older, you would be forced to face reality. And it's gonna hurt. We can all see you're already hurting. Identifying as a doll, as a clown, as an object is not good for your mental health. Did you know your mental health directly impacts your gut? Meaning bad mental health can trigger gut issues. Because gut and brain interact in a mental feedback loop. And if that's the case, don't you worry, because Colin Broom Premium Blend is here to save the day. Colin Broom Premium is a high fiber digestive supplement. Getting enough fiber every day is so important for your physical and mental health. Colin Broom Premium helps with gut issues such as bloating and constipation and helps maintaining healthy cholesterol levels. This supplement has awesome ingredients such as vitamin B12 and vitamin B6. What I really think is cool about Colin Broom Premium is how it reduces hunger and food cravings. And it is 100% clinically proven that this supplement helps with weight loss and weight management. All you have to do is add one scoop of the powder into a glass and pour at least eight ounces of cool water, then stir and drink. Not only is the supplement sugar and gluten-free, vegan and non-GMO, it's also super delicious. If you want to improve your mental health, do not forget to take care of your gut. And I highly recommend doing so by getting the Colin Broom Premium Blend. Right now, you can get a 60% discount for getting six months supply of Colin Broom Premium Blend. Apply to Randy 10 at checkout for an additional 10% off your entire purchase. So join the thousands of satisfied customers by clicking the link in the description down below. Thank you, Colin Broom, for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. I personally have never met someone that uses it, its pronouns. And I know that a lot of people stigmatize it, its pronouns because it sounds like dehumanizing or it's weird. But the other day, I heard someone referring to someone else with it, its pronouns. And it occurred to me that it, it's is the kind of language that we use for like when we see a stray black cat we say oh my god look at it it's so cute or if we see a bunny mama with its babies oh look at it with its little babies but animals are not human so what's your point do you think we should affirm these people's delusions and say of course you're not human you're it itself or should we ask them are you okay I hope this sounds supportive and not infantilizing, but this person was talking about how it wasn't feeling good and it was being bullied by someone and I felt very protective. I was like, stay away from that little bunny or I'm gonna f get you. <laughs> I wish everyone with Neo pronouns a very good night and a little kiss on the forehead and a scratch on the tummy. Oh, this is so cringe. I know you think you're being tolerant, but you're really not. You're making these people's mental health so much worse because from the outside, it looks like you don't acknowledge them as human beings. If you actually cared and were tolerant, you would know as much as we do that wanting to be called it in itself and not wanting to be associated with gender overall won't solve your mental health struggles. But do you know what I think? I think you don't care. I don't think you generally care about them and their mental health. I think you want to show the world that you're tolerant would you call someone it? Let's talk about it, it's pronouns. Are they dehumanizing or validating? It depends on people's preferences. No, it doesn't. Making people gender neutral will always be dehumanizing. It is never a validating or a positive thing. Some people use it, it pronouns as their preferred pronouns. Although it might seem like you're being cruel by calling someone an it, it's actually more harmful to not use them just like any other misgendering. Right, you're being cruel if you don't want to dehumanize someone. Got it. Everything is so upside down, I can't. You're doing no harm by asking someone, why don't you want to be seen as a girl? What is wrong with you being a girl or a woman? What actually happened? I, I want to know. I can't just call you these highly offensive things without knowing why. Refusing to affirm or obey the voices in mentally ill people's heads is not a bad thing and it will not cause any harm. You're actually doing harm if you affirm the voices. The voices in young girls' heads saying, you're not a girl. When you thought you were a girl, someone hurt you, so you can't be a girl, you can't be a girl, you can't be a girl. There is a mental health crisis in America, and it's super devastating to witness. 
people who are mentally ill cannot help having the irrational thoughts, the irrational voices in their heads. So therefore, it's society's responsibility to make sure they're okay. And the first step is to not affirm them as non-human. You can use it, it's pronouns just like any other pronouns. It just ran off to the store, but it'll be back soon. It may feel uncomfortable at first, but you'll be showing your friend or acquaintance that it's safe to be itself around you. A true friend will stop the person and say, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna call you that. You are a human being and you're a woman or you're a man, but it's mostly young girls, right? You're a girl and that's okay. You can be a girl and you can feel safe around me. That's a true friend. And as we all know, a fake or a toxic friend wouldn't mind seeing their friend self-sabotaging. So I use three different sets of pronouns, they, them, theirs, a, m, airs, and it, it, its. Typically I just use they, them, theirs in public or at work because those are much more commonly known pronouns. Oftentimes I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of explaining when I'm meeting new people, but around other queers, then I like using a, m, and it, its. Right, because you don't want to risk hearing the truth from random people who are not within the queer community. God forbid someone reminds you of reality. I see, it's way better, especially for your mental health, to be in your own little bubble full of lies. There are more than two genders. Children can transition. I'm not a woman. I wish that instead of labeling attention seeking as a bad thing, people would try to understand why someone may be attention seeking. More often than not, people are not just attention seeking for fun, like there might be actually something wrong. Oh my god, I love this statement. And that's why my channel is not all about making fun of people. This channel is about mental health. And the people I'm reacting to act crazy, say crazy things. I know why that is. They struggle with their mental health and that is something they can't control. And this woman is right. If you ever see a non-binary activist acting all wild, yes, the person wants attention. But should we be mad at them or ridicule them? No, unless the person harms others, we should feel sorry for them. And I definitely feel sorry for this girl. Yeah, I'm gonna use her in my thumbnail. And yeah, people from the outside who don't watch my videos are gonna think I'm gonna make fun of her. I'm not going to. This girl right here most likely has experienced trauma. Trauma related to her body, her gender. And here I'm of course thinking of SA. I think the reason why her looks have changed so dramatically over the years is because she doesn't want to recognize herself. And that could be for multiple reasons. I can only think of one right now, and that is someone hurt her when she wasn't uncomfortable with identifying as a girl. These types of girls want to escape the female sex and think it's possible. They want to heal their trauma in the most quick and easy way without actually facing the trauma and their mental health issues. And I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense that they think identifying as not a human or not a girl in particular would make them feel better because then they don't have to work on self-acceptance. Due to the lockdowns, we're seeing a huge rise in young people struggling with their identity, are literally having identity crisis. Who can blame them? They have been locked inside of their houses for years and one of the only things they could do was to be on the internet. And we all know how unhealthy that is for young people. I'm not only blaming the lockdowns, the culture has changed too. The QIA plus community keeps growing and growing while changing the definition of what it means to be a man and a woman and creating new genders every week. So literally anyone can relate to the new genders. Dehumanizing mentally ill people is now socially acceptable in the West. We're now teaching young people today that you don't have to face your trauma. You don't have to solve it. Think about it, work on yourself and self-acceptance. And do you know what the outcome is? The same young people now want even more validation and affirmation because those basic needs are not being met. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be affirmed or validated as a person, as a human being. But to ignore the truth that's right in front of us, this young girl in a dress with makeup on is a girl, but we're not allowed to say it. What is happening? This girl will never feel fulfilled, will never feel truly validated and affirmed if everyone around her keeps saying, of course you're not a girl, of course you're an it, and you don't have a gender. She will forever be miserable and it's not okay. I think it's kind of evil to call a young girl an it and not a girl or a she. I hope that someday it will be mainstream to be anti-woke and refusing to obey the trans community. And I of course truly hope that in the future, it is not literally socially acceptable to be trans or non-binary. 
Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support me and my channel, you can become a member or I have my PayPal link in the description down below. Remember to follow me on social media. I love you and I cannot wait to see you in the comments. Peace out.